So I hope that tangent in the last video was worth it to be able to see macros and designing your own commands for Visual Studio. I've heard macros called the duct tape for Visual Studio, but I've also heard that less than 1% of the Visual Studio developers know about them, let alone use them. So there you go. Now you're part of the 1%. You can go park a tent outside of Wall Street or something like that. Uh, okay, we have entity. I move the components.h and cpp into the entities folder. I'm actually going to make a namespace here for everything. Namespace, entities, curlies, control N, curlies, control KF. Uh, we'll copy this, put in component H as well, and closing curly, just house maintenance, house cleaning, maintenance kind of thing. And then we also, ah, got these uh, constructors there. Control V, ah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the namespace there. Control V, Control Shift L L, closing curly, and delete all this. Grab what we just did, paste it right here. Okay, good. All of our file we have entity H, we have entity CPP, we have component H, and component CPP. And an entity, in fact, I'm going to move the entity files over to the left here because I read left to right and, and the most important files should be on the left. Entity is a container class for all the components. The components are the bottle caps that we'll mix into our entity and now we just need to make an entity class that could contain components. Now you know me, I, I am, we're still using a small game here. We don't need a huge amount of dynamic runtime flexibility so I'm just going to make some hard-coded uh, statically sized uh, arrays and then later on if we need some more flexibility we will add it. Let's do component star pointer to components components and I want to do max components max com components and if we're gonna do max components actually let's do num max components to be consistent with what we were doing before static const uint, but in order to get uint I need to pound include miscellaneous type defs uint num max components we'll say for now keep it simple keep it small 10 pointers should be plenty and then we also need to track the number of components that we do have num components alright well obviously we need to initialize this to zero and you know why I avoid Constructors where I can or should. Generally, generally, constructors are good for initializing small values, but we'll be consistent with our initialization and shutdown. So, bool initialize, bool shutdown, and should be good. Control C. Let's open up the CPP file. New vertical tab group. Come in here. Uh, paste both of those. Shift L. Copy the class name, alt, drag down, control V, colon, colon, hit enter. I should probably do a macro for doing this as well. We could make a macro. Oh, don't tempt me to go on another tangent. All right, I'm going to say num components get zero. Return true for now. And shut down, return true as well. So I think we're good. Now we're getting the red squigglies over here saying, I don't know what a component is. So let's just say class component. Why am I saying class component? Because we're simply storing pointers to components. We're not storing actual component, component instances. If we need to know about the definition later, I will replace this with a pound include for the component class. That should be old hat to you. Uh, now all we need is a add component function. So void add component. That will take a component uh, pointer. We'll call it component, like so. Same thing here. Grab that function. Uh, I guess we'll put it down here. And control zoom out. I'm using control and scrolling my mouse wheel. I hope you have the YouTube video turned up to high definition like so, like that. I want to, again, we're going to make our own assertion system, not too far out, but I'm going to pound include, control U to lowercase that, pound include, C assert, 
and then we will assert that num components is not equal to max or num max components num max components and then it's real simple to add this component to our entity we just say components sub num components plus plus post increment not pre increment that's critical because we're I'm being fancy and showing off here and doing my plus plus in my indexing here but num components plus plus gets component all right and then I think that's about it.